we are going to take a look at Hats for Women, Asia Pip. Um, on this store, again, we're going to be looking for some of the same elements, so I'll repeat them to show what's going well and not here. So first off the bat, I'm seeing that free U.S. shipping on orders over 200 This emphasis on $200 in red is quite interesting, and I'm curious why that's the thing highlighted in red on the page. Uh, it really draws in my attention, and that may hurt or may help for that $200 threshold. So I'm curious how that's going to change as I start to interact with the site. I like this new arrivals here, especially in fashion. We do get return visitors who are coming back to the site again and again and are going to want to see new information as opposed to best selling products. So very prominent. It's probably getting a lot of clicks and it's helping people to really focus in on things. Uh, we've got featured and collections, which is kind of interesting. So here we're seeing bestsellers tucked underneath a menu and then the collections are featured sometimes. And then there's also collections over here. There's also styles. So some of this terminology is starting to get a little bit confusing and might um, disrupt people's ability to find specific things. So this is a case where I think uh, information architecture is going to be a really critical research approach for this company. So understanding how their customers think about the different products and collections and the hierarchy there. Uh, for them, the first snap test I would run is to pull that best sellers from this uh, under this feature section out into the primary nav so that it's new arrivals, best seller sellers before these other types of categories. I think that's going to draw in more people and help them take action on a limited set of products more quickly rather than making them kind of figure out how the site's organized, make them figure out where to go. So that would be an A-B test that I would rec recommend here. All right, so I'm going to take that same path to bestsellers. Again, it's organized by features. We have a really nice consistent imagery here, which makes the products a lot easier to compare, which I'm really liking, as well as this um, you know, clear structure of the page, four products across. It seems about right for the product density. Um, if I'm interested in a specific product, um, I'm noticing that from the bestsellers page, there's an opportunity here to help me better move through this product selection. So I have featured, I can sort by some other things like, again, bestselling bestsellers, um, but I could sort by price or if it's new or an older product. Um, but I might wanna sort by size or by style of hat or by any of the features that are in the navigation currently. And so things like that can really help customers narrow down even more the product selection. Uh, with e-commerce, we always have this balancing act. We have a lot of products and we wanna help people find the ones that they want. But if we give them too many products, it slows them down and hurts conversion. So we wanna give that right balance of narrowing in the collections, giving them tools to find what they're looking for or things to eliminate potentially. You know, Maybe you never wanna wear a black hat so you could filter that out and really focus in on bestsellers that match the criteria you have. So again, that's an A-B test. You wanna see if having the ability to filter and sort down really helps ultimately with conversion. All right, so now I'm looking at a specific product. Um, I would love to see the Add to Cart button inverted from its colors. When I am not hovering over the Add to Cart button, it's pretty de-emphasized on this page. There's a concept I like to employ, which is very high level, uh, called the squint test, where you sit back and you squint to see what's drawing your attention in. And right now on this page, the navigation is drawing my uh, attention through the squint test, also that 200 that I mentioned earlier. And what that does is it can detract people from what they've already, the progress they've already made in this customer journey. So we may not want them to go back into the navigation if they're ready to really look at this product or add to cart. So we can use subtle design details like switching the prominence of the add to cart coloring so that the black button is very prominent, draws your attention, reminds you why you're here, nudges you to take that convert. Action here. Um, I like the availability of the size guide here. Um, it's pretty oversized for this page, but I think uh, it has a lot of good details. We've got our sizes clearly indicated here. The colors correspond with the images. We get some really nice angles of the product as well as some close ups, and I can hover and zoom in to see the details. So, all those details are great. Um, sometimes when we have products with fewer reviews, 
particularly in the journey that we're looking at of looking at a bestsellers page, can be a little bit confusing. So I'm a little surprised that a bestseller may only have one review. In those cases, sometimes it's useful to do an A-B test to de-emphasize the reviews in certain scenarios. So perhaps if there's under 20 reviews, maybe we hide it as an A-B test to see if it's more important that it's showing five uh, reviews, five out of five stars, or if it might detract and be distracting that you only have one review for the product. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this product to cart. Um, I love that there's some optionality here. So it's including a shipping warranty. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of detail here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click because I'm curious about it. Um, I'm now a little bit confused. Um, I see a lot of shipping warranty prices and it looks like I get to choose this. So I can add it to cart. Looks like I can have a, quite a few choices here. Um, I, I believe I know what they're going for here. I believe this is something that really wasn't meant to have its own product page. So the fix I would make here is to not give people the chance to go play with that and get distracted by it. I would add some information here about the benefits that you're getting for paying a few extra dollars for the shipping warranty. Now I have the option to turn it on and off here. And if that's what I can do, it may not make sense to have it treated as a product over here and rather just have it as a line item. I like this packaging optionality. I like these, um, these little options here, but the, in this scenario, I can't actually select the keepsake option, even though it has $30 here. So that might cause some friction because I'm not really sure if that's something I can do or choose. Maybe I really want that. So now I'm gonna go look for something else. So when the options aren't available, and it won't be available in the future, it's pretty useful to just hide the options. And then if you do have that choice, providing some detail about, you know, what is the difference between these two packages? Why might I want the extra $30 keepsake? Uh, is there a scenario maybe for gifting where you would recommend that? And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on checkout here. And I see as it's loading, it says your order qualifies for free shipping. So I was glad to see that. That was something I was curious about earlier. Um, now I'm left with the question of, did I qualify for free shipping? So again, just like the last site, this is a great place to override the standard messaging that happens with Shopify's checkout and just use free or $0 here, especially if that's what everyone's getting. Um, and then I did switch to your order qualifies for free US shipping here. So I hit that $200 threshold. I think you missed an opportunity here to make that red. You had the red text before, and I kind of lost track of the fact that I wanted to come back to that. So I think free, you've qualified for free US shipping could be something that you emphasize with color or with some font styling, like a bold text to really draw people back into that. 